Hello everyone and welcome to the first part of the series uh, tutorial videos that will show you the basics of how we can mod, create your own mods for Gidonia. Uh, this one will talk about the basics. So let's start. Now when you go to the mod interface, first thing you see is the uh, mods section this will this window will show you all the mods you have currently downloaded so to create a mod you just click new mod button and go to the mod info section all right so here you can name your mod test mod and then here is the here are the couple of buttons that will allow you to add your your own content uh, some of them are not in the game yet obviously so the first thing we need to do is to decide what kind of mod we can do right now uh, mo modding will allow you to put your items on the world map create your own customized items your own customized npcs and your customized time defects this already allows us to create small settlements uh, outside dungeons possibly some kind of uh, secrets secret uh, chests jumping puzzles and all kinds of uh, interesting stuff so the first thing what we're gonna do is to create a uh, small ruins with uh, a jumping puzzle simple jumping puzzle to get to them with the customized enemy and a couple of items so let's start what we're gonna need to do is to create a new NPC here you have NPC creation window so uh, there are a few of options available here uh, you can do name of course we're gonna we're gonna na name him test talker uh, he's gonna be a neutral faction and there are a few models available for him all right this is i'm gonna change the equip color so this is gonna be some type of researcher okay so we're gonna increase his hp a little bit and we're gonna put a dialogue and uh, Okay, so here is how the dialogue system works. You create a dialogue options. Uh, this one will show you that this option is available right at the start of the conversation. You're gonna click. The player will say bye. And the NPC response will be bye. This is gonna be an option. Uh, uh, an exit option. I recommend uh, always adding it first. This uh, we toggle this that will make this dialogue option exit the conversation. This is gonna be simple for now. Okay, the next one is gonna be I'm gonna toggle this, and the player could say, "What is this place?" The NPC. Will say this is the test dungeon uh, now we won't make it uh, exit the conversation for now instead we're gonna put what dialogue option will follow this one right now we only have uh, the other one is zero if you want to put uh, uh, multiple options you separate them by commas 
So uh, there are a couple of options here. Simple merchant, this will open a merchant window and aggro, this will make NPC attack you. Right now we're gonna make it the text. All right, the dialogue is ready. We're not, we're not uh, gonna change anything else. And make him. Okay. Okay. But forgot to click enter. Okay, apply. Now, here you have your first uh, murdered piece of content. You can edit it again or delete it. Now, what we're gonna need is a new uh, boss type enemy. This is gonna be. Uh, we're gonna need a fighter. We're gonna make it a skeleton. We're gonna pick that one. We're gonna make it real tanky. Uh, now, here, uh, a few options you can make. To, for uh, enemy, so the, here's the animation type. We're gonna make simple fighter, couple of attacks. That he's going to have size. Is gonna be we want to increase his size for now. Here's the damage he will deal with each attack. His armor, knock resist, magic resist, dodge chance, and knock power. Uh, here is a couple of projectiles that you can add and abilities uh, we won't make it for now and the faction is gonna be enemies so we'll make him test boss fly all right now we have uh, uh, and talker and the boss now we're gonna make a new item here is the item, we're going to make a uh, weapon, test sword, uh, we're going to change the icon for something like, I don't know, this, and type will be one head and sword, the model will going to pick some so type of sword, we're going to do some damage, my maybe some health bonus and you know attack speed bonus all right now we apply it and we have two npcs and one custom item all right now that we have all the content we created we need to place it on the map to do it just click place on the map button and here you have your camera control now I've chosen this small spot near the enchanted forest where we would create our small dungeon uh, first of all we would need to make some foundation for that I would use a couple of flat cliffs that will be very good for that now we're gonna Put them down a little bit so they would be in the ground. I'm gonna put one here, one's a little bit lower, and one is over here. Alright, now we're gonna need a couple of stairs so that we could make. players climb this thing okay. right. okay now we're gonna build a couple of ruins here Here. and maybe a wall right here 
All right, now to jump over there, we're gonna make a small little jumping puzzle. We're gonna put a double jump buff here. And we're gonna make a water jump pad right here and here. Now we can change the material of our dungeon so it, it would fit better. To do this, you just click and pick a material. There are a couple of predetermined materials. I'm gonna pick with these. These are, and we can also change the material of the dungeon. Now uh, we need to place a few enemies. I will take a couple of demon warriors over here. I'm gonna place them here and here. We're gonna put our custom NPCs over here. That's gonna be our boss, and that's gonna be our small talker. Now, we need to put our custom loot as a reward for this small dungeon. We're gonna click usable and uh, wooden chest. We're gonna make give it a little bit up. Okay. Okay. Now, we just click on the chest and put some items. For example, we can put like a dragon leather and our mod sword. So that would be all. Now we just click return. Oh, oh no, we just need to assign the NPCs, right? Click on the NPC and it's gonna be a test talker. Click here and it's gonna be test boss. Alright, now click return and save. Alright, so we're ready to test it out. Let's jump to the game to, to the game mode. Alright, so here we are. I jumped on my testing character my small testing scene to see how it all will work so here is our talking npc yes where is this place this is a test dungeon okay bye now here is our small crappy jumping puzzle okay here is a couple of our demon enemies and our boss test boss and we kill them of course all right now here's our chest and here is dragon leather and our test sword let's check it out yes it gives 11% attack and cast speed and 39 to health. Alright, so of course this is a small part of what you can do. Guys, this is a small testing dungeon that I've made in like 10 minutes. And of course it is only the first part of modding support. I plan to so I plan to introduce them slowly during the course of development. Uh, check out the roadmap on the Steam 
platforms for modding support and of course subscribe to my youtube channel and my social links and stay tuned for more updates all right bye